In this video presentation, we're going to cover how to search the web of the internet for data sheets. Open up a library using the icon to the left of the word library. And let's say that we want to take any one of these parts here and then search for the um, part number. So you normally search the web for the part number. So we're going to take, I'm going to scroll down here to TI, and I'm going to take a part number here, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to open up my web browser, and I'm going to paste it in here, and then search for that data sheet. So I come up with Mauser and DigiKey and all data sheet and data sheets. And I got everything except for text instruments. Now you can open up the DigiKey website and then click on the data sheet here. And then that'll give you the data sheet link. Now I'll give you a tip on TI here. On the TI, uh, they have uh, HTTP and then all the way down to PDF. And then they have a question mark. And then everything after the question mark is just meaningless data for us. So I'm going to take the text instruments data sheet and I'm taking it from the PDF file. Okay, whoop, not the question mark, just the PDF and take that and then can copy that. Okay, and then go to my data sheet column here and then paste that guy right in here. And that's the data sheet link for that data sheet. Now, alternatively, you can select any cell in the row and then right mouse button and then search the web and then search for Google or search for the manufacturer's homepage. We're gonna to go to the manufacturer's homepage, TI, and I'm gonna go ahead and say search I want to paste in the part number. So here I go. Part number right here. And then control C on that part number. Open up my web browser for TI. I'm on the TI homepage. And then search. And then um, TI will come up with um, data sheets here. And then I'm going to find the data sheets that I want. So this data part number here is active. And then select that and drill down. Here's the data sheet right here. Select the data sheet. And then this is the this here is the logical description. The data sheet link is up here. And again, I just want to go to everything to the uh, PDF file everything to the left of the question mark. Grab that data sheet there and control C and then paste it into my data sheet link. Then once you get a data sheet, then you could just simply just click on the last icon on the toolbar, view selected data sheet, and it'll open that HTTP link up. A lot of times the web links break and if they do, you could just go and search the internet for the part number and then just get, copy and paste the new data sheet into the data sheet link. And that's how you search for data sheet links on the web. Simplify, standardize, and automate an entire IPC and IEC compliant library. Detailed, accurate, reliable, professional. Highest quality footprints and 3D step models, clicks away. Many companies worldwide are easily generating their CAD libraries you should too. Get a fully functional footprint expert evaluation license for any CAD format and demo today. Contact us at pcblibraries.com or call 847-557-2300.